What's up, guys? Really excited for today's session. We've got Jamie in town from Canada, and one of her clients in town, Macy. She is a WPD pro. She's gonna do figures this year too, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna just kick it over to Jamie. She's gonna explain what all we got on the board today and jump into the first movement. So we're training a pole session today. So we're gonna go through Macy's uh, one of Macy's programs. Um, we're gonna kick it off with a single underhand pull down and move to more um, of the other single like unilateral movements um, and then into some uh, into a chest supported row and then some biceps to finish it off at the end but basically it's just us um, me being able to visually see just what's going on with her um, make sure that we're getting the most of all the movements and uh, and tweaking anything that needs to be tweaked and then just having fun training together it's the first time that we've met so Let's go. Did you want to go first? Uh, no, just cool. feel, feel you it. You asked for it. <laughs> feel it. I would start at like 95 or slightly below. Good. What are you seeing? She got a small rib cage, right? Yeah. So like her her midline is way closer to the center of the machine than most people's. It's like even a tucked elbow is still close to her delt. You need to be close to your rib cage. So watch, let me show you. Because you're so tiny. <laughs> you got like your rib cage is like like this. So like for me, like I just stand here and my shoulder is like on both planes, right? Okay. So I don't really have to adjust this at all. Yeah. I just kind of sit a supinated and it's right there in the side of my rib cage. Okay. The edge of your rib cage is like here, right? So, so you're pulling problem. down and it almost looks like here. Okay. It's like rear delt Terry's plane. Okay. So you're actually gonna have to like align yourself this way. Scooch over. So that it's okay. kind of right in that lat plane for your, cause okay. you're just so small from a rib cage structure perspective. Yeah. You are gonna to have to adjust to the machine rather than the machine yeah. adjusting to you. And that's why most of the time I just use the table. Yeah, which would be a better option yeah. from uh, not having to change it set up. Yeah. But this plane is better from accessing lat yeah. too. So if we can just move you over, it'll be easier. Yeah. So I just did my left, so y'all do whatever you want, and then we'll do the other one. Okay. God bless me with an ass, though, so I don't really gotta <laughs> worry about it. I don't it. need him. I don't really gotta worry about it. No. So. Yeah, those look much better. Pull. I'm with you. Make them look the same. So slow it down at the top. Squeeze. Pull. Come on. Easy. It's all you. Come on. You got more. Come on. That's what? That's 12. 12. Yeah. So if you can keep going. Oh. Keep going. Good ball. Yeah. I got first. The thing with being here, too, is like you don't know the machine. Yeah. So you don't really know the weight. Yeah. If you can keep going. Okay. Let's just keep rolling. Okay. So rep ranges are just suggestions, right? Like they're yeah. not rule and thumb. Especially traveling, like you're gonna be all over the place. So proximity to failure is what dictates progress more than the rep range that you're training. Yeah. That's okay. If you would have gotten 15, it's still a great set. Yeah. And that's right? one it's still of hypertrophy. The... It's still stimulus that's gonna promote hypertrophy. Yeah. It's that proximity to failure that's important because if you did 12 and you had three more. The level of hypertrophy that's stimulated is way less. Yeah, so that's like mechanical error yeah. or mechanical failure, where you're actually like lats failing, which is a good, good thing. Okay. That's what you want. Okay. But like once you start feeling bicep, it's probably time to shut it down. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't helping much. Okay. Like barely anything. It was more, it's more of a psychological thing, I think. Yeah. I've always, 
and like being in prep too, you just want to be careful with forced reps. Yes. Yeah. Just because of the output, right? And it, do sure. we want to do forced reps at the beginning of a training session yeah. so that it beats yeah. you up for the rest and we don't get much out of the rest yeah. too? So, but when you're traveling, like you're always going to find when you're going to different gyms yeah. that you're going, like he said, it's the proximity to failure. So yeah. you're not, you, you, maybe if you don't know the machine, you can always err on the side of like, okay, well, I'm just going to do more reps as opposed to like bumping the weight up and doing less reps, yeah. right? So. When in doubt, travel, lighter, higher up. Yeah. Good reps. Yep, pull. <laughs> Good. So you're going to do both figure and WP this year? Yeah. Get another winner. <laughs> <laughs> Be real though, those classes have changed since then. Yeah. How is that? <laughs> they have, li they don't have as good a conditioning. Either. No, they really don't. That, that's not true. Well, some of it. That's not true. Yeah, good. That's good. Ten. It's all you. You look the same. Pull. Come on. Come on. Let's do two more. Come on. Last one. Big breath. Pull. <laughs> so single arm cable row, you'll see some slightly different setups, same concepts, just like different rib cage sizes. So for me being the largest rib cage, I'll be have to scoot over the most and do the most finagling to get this in the lat plane. You go all the way down to Macy, whose rib cage is like this big around, she'll like just barely scoot over and that single arm cable will line up pretty well. But um, next pattern, obviously a very lat focused session, but you can see like I'm already almost off the bench just to make this work. But we'll knock out three sets here and then roll from there. Yeah, great reps. Hey. Come on. Good reps. Keep going. Come on. <laughs> you can remember, if you can keep going. Come on. Whoa. Come on. One more. Come on. So like, to stay away from your implants, I want like clavicle on the chest pad. Um, I'm actually gonna drop it down a little bit for you, but you're actually gonna be like here, and you're gonna grab these neutral grip handles, and you're gonna brace here, and we're just gonna have to figure out where from like a tilt standpoint you need to be in order to get mid back. Now, for you, this works because your rib cage is so small, like these handles are gonna be a rear delt pull for you. 
where for me, it fits pretty well for me to use those overhand handles and get like mid trap, mid back. Um, so we just need to tinker with it because it's, it's the same problem as we had on the Nautilus. Yeah. The machine's not really built for you, it's built for me more. <laughs> and we just gotta adjust it according to what that looks like. So. No, no, it won't. I'll, I'll show you how to take that out. You're relying solely on the chest pad. Okay. So like you could almost like, you could almost like just sit up here yeah. and not even have your hamstrings okay. where you're here and just going. Okay. So you don't have to be in like an RDL position. Okay. We might have to tinker with the height, but I'm gonna see you do this real quick and then. Yeah, I know it, it, it does squish him a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Where are you getting that? Are you getting that here or are you getting that here? Uh, here. Yeah, okay. So it's more Terry's than it is mid back, but that's fine. If you lowered your hand a little bit, it might help. Okay. It also might help with that angle of pull. Like on yeah. the top, down here. Now try it with your hips on the pad for me, just to see. I know it's hard for us. That's what I'm saying, the chest support with the breast implants is so hard to use. The only way I can do it is if I do one that's like... Like below your implants? Yeah. There was one that, that was up here. It was Does that feel like you can get a lot out of it or no? Is there like a squishy yeah. piece? Now give it a go. Yeah, that's it, right there. Now you can see it. That's it. Yep. Yeah, that looks really now good. You right can here? See it. Yeah. She's getting that like all there and there. Okay. Yeah. That's it. I, I'm going to leave the setup alone and let y'all go. Oh, I'll, okay. I'll do something different. Do you want me to go? Uh, you do a feeler. 11. Come on. <sighs> Come on. You got two more at least. Come on. Come on, Jamie. Come on. There you go. I mean, I don't want to say I was right, but... <laughs> He's always right. He always <laughs> how many reps I'm going to get. You think that he, he knows me or something. I'm just saying. <laughs> Good rep. There's two. There's one. Two. Come on. Three. You got another one. Let's go. There Come you go, on. Macy. One more. Look like a little goblin down there. <laughs> a little goblin. Small creature. <laughs> So what I find with this one is sometimes you can get it so that it hits the tricep too much. Okay, yeah. Right? Like, yeah. do you ever feel it in the tricep? Occasionally, yeah. So one of the things that I figured out is that if I flip my palm up, okay. so I'm a bit supine, yeah. and keep a slight bend, okay. and then I like will turn my feet, and then I lean my torso, and then pull in. Okay. I find that if your hand is like this, yeah. What happens is, is this, this extension yeah. starts. So as you come out, the elbow bends, and then as you go into the full extension, then it turns into a tricep extension. I've so. been doing, like, two of these. Yeah, I like, I like, um, I like doing a single arm, because then you can definitely bias, like, um, this, like, individual sides. Yeah. And you can, if you're gonna do it with a double hand, yeah. It's, it's pretty limiting. Yeah. Unless you have a really long rope. Yeah. And so that, the but then still the cable is coming down the center. Yeah. As opposed to now you have the cable that is in line with the lat. Do you want to go? No, I just, I wanted to show you. So I just want to see you do it. And I always think of like turtle almost, like yeah. rib cage. Yeah, hold like. So it's, it's finding where you feel it, right? And then it's not overextending with the shoulder as well. 
So now when you extend, see how you're like extending your arm? And then now you're doing a bicep curl almost. So keep that same consistency with that arm so that you're not doing like an extension and flexion. Yeah, let me show you. Let me show you how it might help. So you're holding it like this. Okay. If you like hang your hand in it. Okay. Oh, okay. It'll lie to get to yeah. here better. So that leans in position. Okay. And then you can just jam it. Okay. okay. Hang on one sec, hang on, hang on. You want it up higher? Yeah. Just because her range is, is a lot higher. There, yeah, good. That, you get that right here? Yeah. She's still like a little too wide, but it's close. Here. It's really close. Oh. It's, it's really good. It's not, I'm really nitpicking. No, so. I need to be closer in? Yeah, so. Okay. What I would do, if I were you, is actually like be a little bit closer to the cable. Okay. And think about like touching your foot. Yeah. But you don't want to dump this way. Yeah. So the torso stays the same. In okay. fact, if anything, it should lift up a little bit. Okay. And think about pulling the shoulder down to your hip and your hand down to your foot. Yeah. There. You're finishing like here. Okay. Not you're really close. Like it's, uh, it's like 0.2%, but <laughs> you're a pro, so. Yeah, she was using like the. You won USA's. You're a pro. <laughs> there you go. Pardon? Feel the difference? What are we doing? Yeah, you get so much more here. A single arm cable pullover. Um, just tweaking a few things. So Macy was doing it with the cable in the center and and um, bilateral as opposed to unilateral. So what we find is that we can definitely uh, bias a lot, a lot better if we're doing it unilaterally as opposed to with a shorter rope and and uh, and bilaterally. So the one thing you gotta watch with the girls is just like sometimes that length in position with the implants can be. That's because he's an ego lifter. Come on, Macy. There you go. Give me everything you got. See the difference? Yeah. So it's the same issue on the front relax that I was trying to get. So you know this, but scapular plane is where you want those arms, yeah. right? So you're just like, a lot of people do it. They're here instead yeah. of here. It's yeah. like you want that scap to get out as far as you can. Mm -hmm. So I'll even have girls, especially from the rear, like pull forward and then go into it. A little more. There. Core turn to the right. You see what I'm saying, though? Mm -hmm. Good. Face the front, front double. You look very comfortable in WPD. You look very comfortable moving through WPD. Good. Have you tried different foot stances or no? Well, you scoot over, you scoot over. Ah, the back leg is what you're worried about. So. Which, I mean, I don't care. They've never said anything about it, so. Then I would leave it alone. So, all right, front double. Hit it and then we'll transition. Good, face the rear back double. Close that gap on that side, try a bit better. That's it though. Mm -hmm. Between your midsection and your tricep. Okay. So, yeah. so I'm double jointed. I have to watch how I flex my triceps. Oh, oh. Ooh, buddy. That's why I can't. Woo, buddy. Good God. Okay, that changes it. Because, like, if you're not double jointed, you can just crank on that motherfucker yeah, and it's I not can. going anywhere. <laughs> you might not be able to close the gap then with that much more. That's, that's good, though. That's what I wanted. That's better than where it was. Yep. That's, that's what I wanted to see. Bring the bicep closer. Mm hmm. Especially with that rear delt, because it'll make that rear delt pop a little bit more when you're leaner, right? Because yeah. you're using that torso to push it out. Okay. 
go. We might come back to that. Hit an Ab and Thigh real quick. Is... Ab Thigh? Yeah. I know. This is the I worst one. I haven't you one. <laughs> this is always, it's okay, it's the worst one. It's like until you're in contest shape, you don't even bother. No, you're, I wouldn't change a thing about that pose. I just wanted to see it. Uh, the back double, how much have you tinkered with like arm height slash forward backwards? Not much. You just have so much back and you're rear relaxed, you're just not showing it in your back double. Okay. Because you draw up so much, and I get what you're doing, because you're making I don't your, have to. You're making your delts look bigger, right? Yeah. You're sacrificing a little bit of lat thickness that you okay. have. It might not be as bad when you're in contest shape, and that's like the variable we're kind of like dealing with right here. Because like, I'd almost be interested to see like, just for practicing sakes to feel it, not like to hit it on stage, like hit your rear relax with the foot position and then just flip it okay. and see if it looks any better. And if it doesn't, then we stop messing with it. I'm just curious. I'm good. See, that looks better. See how much more back you're showing? Yep. Like the, de the detail through the terries and the mid trap and it's more lat, like you just got more. It's, it's, and then flipping it. See how you, the, eat, that's just, that's like three inches wider. Yep. So like, just so a, a line that I look for with girls is head, head, chest, hip should all be straight up down. Because mm -hmm. if it's off, it means it's either like over rotated or under rotated or it's leaned or something like that. Yeah. Okay. So, but even that, like that's expanded. Like, so with rotation, like anytime you pull up, like you pull air up, that, mm -hmm. that it's always thoracic extension. So that's why I'm like blowing out as I turn away. So it's like, so that I can turn more. Okay. Because expansion of the rib cage is yeah. always thoracic extension. Expansion of the rib cage is always thoracic extension. So if you're like, if you're going into the side quarter and you're like, where, oh, no. where am I, right? Yeah. So that's why like I try to get people to take their breath before they go. Yeah. yeah. I find that that is like a big one is. Yeah. The exhale here and then. And then go. My breathing. Yeah. I'm not worried about your breathing because you, you, if you were breathing wrong, I'd have It's just something. that rotation, okay. the, just on that one side, okay. right? Yeah. You just might have and to don't be more it. Just look of, for that of line. Your breath on that side. All right, guys. Thank you for following along the pool day and a little bit of posing. Um, make sure you guys, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Both Jamie and myself will be answering questions down there. Like the video for us, it helps us out a lot. Subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, we've got a lot of content coming your way. Uh, make sure that you, if you're not following Jamie, you're following her on Instagram at, at Jamie no Switch. She's gonna be doing a ton of content on the YouTube page, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Um, if you wanna follow along Macy's Prep, go over there and follow her. What's your you Instagram know, like, handle? It's uh, Macy Tony underscore built. Yeah, so make sure you give her a follow because she'll be doing a couple pro shows this year. So. Um, you got anything else for her before no. we hop off? She's doing San Antonio Pro and Legion Fest, so yep. keep an eye out for her. And we're like, what, 15 weeks? Yeah. Yeah, so, so. getting it's into the groove, <laughs> and thank you for coming to train with us. Yeah, that was yeah. fun. Yes, I had yeah. fun. Yeah. Until next time, take no off switch and the pursuit of results.